about uh, Sam, and uh, as you mentioned, standing by with the winning driver here, Yannick Jingra of the three Sasa head over. Yannick, she uh, tired of being the New York Sire Stakes final on the off track. Obviously, you didn't drive her that night, but she bounced back in a big way here. Yeah, oh yeah, there's no doubt. Like Ronnie told me, just uh, draw a line through that through that start. You know, uh, the track was bad, and on big half of 56, it's like it's a 53 half on a regular night. So you just uh, forget about it, and uh, you know, we're, we're planning on racer from the back, but. Uh, you know, getting away forward, if I come first up, I, I carry uh, Brian right into the race, so I decided to uh, move it to the front. Was the win tonight as easy as it looked? It looked like she was just wrapped up uh, 51 flat big mile. Oh, yeah, yeah, she had uh, she had some left. I had the plug still in. You know, I just showed her whip a little bit to uh, keep her to her task, but, uh, you know, she had some she had some uh, pace left. Looking into a bit later in tonight's car, race seven, you've got another uh, talented uh, two-year-old, this one, a trotting colt, Habitat. How good was he last time? You expecting big things from him tonight? Absolutely. Uh, he's a really, really nice colt. He uh, drives two-finger. You do whatever you want with him. Um, you know, he, he's been class all year. Yeah, he's been right there with the top ones. And obviously, uh, in a well with last week in, uh, at Mohawk, uh, he went really easy. So uh, I'm expecting uh, you know, a huge performance tonight. thought he uh, drew it a pretty uh, soft division as well. So we'll look for a big effort from Habitat. Limelight Beach tomorrow night, the uh, jug wetter. He seems to be rounding into form here at the right time. Yeah, no kidding. You know, he definitely uh, came into himself at the right time. Uh, he, uh, he was very good. Boat either the jug and He's another one, you know, in the final, um, I had the other horse locked in, but I had plenty of pace left myself. I had the plugs in, too, uh, you know, pretty, uh, he, he was really, really good that night. That day. What about Lyons somewhere? He made a break in one of the other heats. Had he won there, you'd have had a tough choice going to that little brown jug final. It certainly would have been, you know, there's no doubt. You know, Lyons somewhere would have been going for uh, maybe a chance at the triple crown. Um, you know, it was devastating at the time, you know, when he made a break, because I thought the, uh, he was my best chance to win it. And, you know, I was a little worried about the seven hole, but when I cleared that, that easy, uh, I thought he was on free. Um, you know, and that's high and lows of harness racing. I've had uh, a couple of those high and lows this year, and but uh, no, uh, getting enough power, I was able to bounce back. Seem to have a lot more highs, but maybe a couple of lows as well. We're going to send it back upstairs to you, Sam. Thanks very much.